Welcome to Fast Break, a channel for anything and everything NBA related. In today's video, we'll be going over why NBA fans take Kevin Durant. The offseason may lack games being played, but the player empowerment era has actually made free agency an exciting part of the season. A familiar face was once again at the top of the rumor mill. That was KD. This should be prefaced with the fact that this topic has absolutely nothing to do with his play. On the court, Durant is a beast. He can score from anywhere with the ability to rise up and shoot over any defender. KD is also a solid defender himself when he wants to be. His frame allows him to guard multiple positions effectively. With hindsight, we can all understand why he left OKC. Russ and winning don't really go hand in hand, especially with what we've seen in his time with the Lakers. The move to Golden State is what turned fans against him though. KD joined the defending champs right after almost beating them, which really didn't scream competitive. People could say the same about LeBron and Miami, but the Heat weren't defending champs prior to his arrival. Plus Miami lost in their first year together, so in a way it felt like they earned it. But when the Warriors went back to back after Durant joined, it felt like he skipped a step. Regardless of how you feel about his time at Golden State, he won those championships outright with two finals MVPs. Ask anybody, was he the best player on those teams? Yes, most definitely. But was he the leader of those teams? No. That would be Steph Curry and Draymond Green. KD was able to just hoop with the Warriors. The leadership hierarchy was already set, so he could just kick back and do what he does best, efficiently score the basketball. This move to the Warriors is what made most fans turn on him. True competitors like Jordan and Kobe never had a if you can beat them, join them mentality. This will forever be a staple in separating KD from the greats. If he wanted to solidify his place as one of the top dogs, beating the top dog would have given him the best chance. Instead, he gave in and chased rings. His legacy may have a couple of championships because of this move, but it was at the cost of losing major respect for his competitive mentality and diminishes all around greatness as an individual player. After the Warriors lost to the Raptors in the 2019 Finals, Durant decided to embark on a new journey, and that was teaming up with Kyrie Irving in Brooklyn. James Harden would eventually get traded to the Nets, creating one of the most lethal big threes in NBA history. But injuries, COVID protocols, and inconsistency in general plagued this team from the start. It wasn't long before things would spin out of control and Harden would get traded to Philly for Ben Simmons. Then. In the first round of the playoffs, the Nets would get swept by the Celtics. Remember, Brooklyn was the only team to not win at least a game in the whole postseason. KD was bad. Kyrie was bad. Coaching was very questionable, and the defense was nowhere to be seen. Not to mention, their offense revolved solely around ISO scoring. Give it to KD or Kyrie and get out the way. Gordon Dragic, who played with the Nets, had this to say. Last year, I decided the way I did. I played with some stars like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, and I have to admit that it was quite difficult because the focus was not the team, but more the individual performances. Proof is in the pudding. All you had to do was watch any Nets game to see just how much they revolved around their two stars. The quote from Dragic just confirmed what we were all thinking. Following the embarrassing series against Boston, KD had to watch the Warriors win their first title since he left. A little extra salt in the wound. We all knew something had to change, but what happened next shocked the whole NBA community. On June 30th, 2022, Kevin Durant requested to be traded, just a couple of days after the Nets and Kyrie couldn't agree on an extension. Was the trade request because they weren't willing to extend his best friend and teammate, or was he finally over all of Kyrie's drama? Nobody really knows for sure, but just over a month later, KD met with Nets owner Joe Tsai and gave him an ultimatum. Fire Sean Marks and Steve Nash, or trade me? You mean the coach you wanted? And the GM that bent over backwards for all your demands? Admittedly, Steve Nash wasn't great this past season. But again, he's the coach KD and Kyrie wanted. Plus, Sean Marks has done a good job considering the circumstances he's been put in. Having to trade Jared Allen because his stars won DeAndre Jordan was not a good move at all. But the only reason he did it was to keep KD and Kyrie happy. Some fans and analysts think Durant's actually bluffing, that he doesn't want to play in Brooklyn, and since he knows that Joe Tsai won't fire Nash and Marks, it's his way of forcing a trade. Others believe he still wants to play with Kyrie in Brooklyn, with this being the latest of his long list of demands. The first is more probable, but with KD, nobody really knows. Either way, fans and executives are pissed off. When he joined the Nets, it was a relief. Parity in the league had been restored and he had a new goal, bring a championship to Brooklyn. But now it feels like the OKC situation all over again. Except, he can't blame Westbrook. This was on him. He wanted to team up with Kyrie, trade for Harden, and hire Nash. He got everything he wanted aside from one thing, financial security for his co-star. While well, considering Kyrie's availability, this was a smart move by the Nets. But in reality, that may be why all this started in the first place. The whole situation does not sit well with NBA owners and executives. None of them want players to have this much power. And if Joe Tsai gives in to KD's demands, it sets a bad precedent for all disgruntled superstars moving forward. Here's Joe Tsai's response to KD's latest demands to fire the coach and GM. Our front office and coaching staff have my support. We will make decisions in the best interest of the Brooklyn Nets. Simple as that. The Nets are willing to do whatever they needed to keep KD and Kyrie happy, but clearly that ship is sailed. Now what? While following the Rudy Gobert trade, the Nets were asking an arm and a leg for KD. And considering his latest demands, it seemed like the Nets have no other choice but to trade him. This is where the fans come back into play. KD got everything he wanted, an opportunity to lead a championship team that he helped build. But now he wanted out because 
is not working or because they finally stood up to him maybe duran needed to take a look in the mirror when it comes to why things aren't going as planned is it all his fault no but a lot of this has to fall on his shoulders fans wanted kd to stay in brooklyn and own it instead of running to another team like miami boston or phoenix it's golden state all over again he just wants to hoop and that's fine but all the off-court drama has got to stay kd is one of the best basketball players in the world but he's also one of the most sensitive and discontent superstars we've ever seen his play has overshadowed this for years but now that kd got everything he asked for and he still wanted out fans are left wondering as of now it appears that some sense has been talked into him and he will remain with the nets who knows if all this other stuff was just the media dramatizing the whole situation for views or if the drama was driven and fueled by durant himself the question still remains will durant ever find what he's looking for in all honesty probably not and that's okay katie has already cemented himself as an all-time player but his top 10 status hangs in the balance of what he does in this late stage of his career his ability as a basketball player has been drowned out by the off the court noise and poor decision making in regards to who he's decided to play for is respect more important than rings does chasing rings take away from KD's status because of his choices KD's rings will always carry the baggage of these questions whether they're valid or not that's up for you to decide thanks for watching let us know your opinion about KD and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more NBA content